our fire rescue retiree family. I want to say thank you. I want to share with you some great news. For the first time in our department's history, we are acknowledged as a class one ISO fire department. I must say that through the hard work of the men and women that have worked here over the years, through blood, sweat, and tears, your dedication, the foundation you have laid, we are able to see this success for our community, for our fire department, for our progression. I acknowledge all of those who have come before us, and I want to say thank you for everything that you have done for our department and the continued support that we receive from you. Out of nearly 40,000 tested fire departments across the country, only 388 are rated as a class one. That's the top 0.01%, and we are now a part of that. Instead of talking to talk, we're walking the walk. On a scale out of one to 10, with one being the highest, we went from a class four up to a class three in 2011, then up to a class two in 2019, and now we can claim the gold medal class one. What does the gold number one stand for? To be an ISO rated one is like the cream of the crop. The Insurance Services Organization, or ISO, only grades the fire part of what we do. Some insurance companies use it to set rates. So how did we get here? We've improved our water supply training, rural water supply, relay pumping, water shuttle operations using a folding dump tank, and modified direct pumping operations. What this really comes down to is that our crews, our drivers, our people on our suppression apparatus are able to get water where there's no water sources. We've greatly improved our hydrant inspection process, making sure they're where they're supposed to be. So here's our gauge. So right now we have a static pressure of 68 PSI. And all this new updated data went directly into the new water source locator for accurate real-time information with the click of a button. Total of eight, we have three Suffins and we have five E1s. We can now boast a fully operational, 95% stocked short-term spare fleet. A fleet which can also be used for deployments. And within hours, we can get these trucks mobilized, ready for the crews, and they can be on their way. And what about firefighter safety? In every NIOSH investigation into a firefighter injury or death, there's another common theme, poor pre-incident planning. Inspection rates have gone up. My first priority are the men and women that serve in operations and make sure that, again, they go in, they come out. And light duty personnel have been resourced as sketchers and drawers to update Mobilize. That took us from 1,900 PIPs in 2020 to more than 9,000 in 2021 to more than 10,000 in 2022 so far. It makes us better. All top-notch fire departments highly regard fire-specific training. You could never train enough for a job that can kill you. So the Training and Safety Division has created dozens of templates for fire training on target solutions. Just made it easier for you to input it in the computer. So nothing's ever changed, right? It's business as usual. Everyone's always trained hard. Everyone's always done the hours. Raising the bar is what this process is all about. Continuously improving the Palm Beach County way. Thank you.